guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to Love Your Shelf. At the beginning of the year, I went over my to be read list for books that I wanted to read in this quarter, so through March. And I still have 13 books left, physical books, that I wanted to read um, in, you know, through the end of March. And I can't decide what I want to read next. So I am going to read the first sentence of each book and choose what I'm going to read next based off that. So the first book we have is The Hot Zone. Charles Monet was a loner. I really want to read more than that. That was a very short short line but I won't okay so Charles Monet was a loner that is the first one the second book is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah the genius of apartheid was convincing people who were the overwhelming majority to turn on each other okay next is it ends with us by Colleen Hoover and as I sit here with one foot on either side of the ledge looking down from 12 stories above the streets of Boston, I can't help but think about suicide. So that's different. Uh, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry is next. On vacation, you can be anyone you want. Actually, that does sound pretty good. Um, that is the first book where I'm like, hmm, I might be vaguely interested in this. Um, also, Charles Money Was a Loner does kind of sound like something I might be interested in as well. We will have to check it out. Um, if On a Winter's Night, A Traveler is the next one, and it's kind of hard to see because of this beautiful, shiny book, um, but it is by Calvino, uh, Italo Calvino, and I have not read anything by him yet, but I am excited to. And this is, you are about to begin reading Italo Calvino's new novel, If on a Winter's Night a Traveler. Relax, concentrate, dispel every other thought. And that sounds like a lot of fun too. So I'm going to put that in my pile of maybes with people we meet on vacation. Uh, the next one is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. And this is a book that my husband recommended. He has not read, but he read what it was about and thought it would be interesting. So this is Death Cast is Calling with the Warning of a Lifetime. I'm going to die today. A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. So these are getting into books that I got now, not books that I've been recommended. It was safest to cross the ocean at night when the moon and stars shone on the water. That sounds beautiful. So I'm going to keep that in my maybe pile. Home Going by Ya Yasi. I may or may not have said that right. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And the first one is, the night Effia Otcher was born into the musky heat of Fantaland, a fire raged through the woods just outside her father's compound. That's actually a very good start as well. It's a different name, but I'm not here to judge. Well, I am here to judge because I'm trying to judge what I'm reading next, but... You know what I mean. <laughs> um, the next book I have is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. M Maurier. Daphne du Maurier. I think that's right. Um, and the first sentence of her book is, Last night I dreamt I went to Manderley again. Which could be interesting, but I don't know what Manderley is. So it does not hold my interest at this time. The next book is Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. So for that, I have, oh, it's actually a poem that starts. Slicing through the air with effortless aplomb, the moment you take your first swing, you wield your ax like you are a master in the art of gleaning. So if you don't know what gleaning is yet, um, the scythedom is about, or yeah, like the kingdom, whatever, um, <laughs> these books are about us finding immortality essentially and you can do whatever you want so that you can live forever and then there are scythes who have to do a certain amount of gleanings per year so based on whatever their criteria is that they make um they kill you um and so because i do know what gleanings are this sounds very exciting and so i'm gonna put that in my um, maybe pile as well. And then the next one is Stephen King, 
fairy tale uh, and I've never read a Stephen King book yet so this is literally going to be the first sentence I've ever read <laughs> um, by Stephen King and it says um, okay well first off the chapter is called The Goddamn Bridge, The Miracle, The Howling. I'm sure I can tell the story. That's the first sentence. The second one is I'm sure no one will believe it, which makes it sound better. Um, yeah, that's the first sentence I've ever read by Stephen King, you guys. And I'm gonna put that back and see when we are gonna come against that later. And then the last one I have is Brene Brown's Atlas of the Heart. And the first sentence for that is... Also, just look at how beautiful this book is. Okay, so if, if I use the photo, it says we are the map makers and the travelers, which is a saying I really love, but that's actually not the beginning. So, uh, introduction. Heart is sea. Language is shore. Whatever sea includes will hit the shore. Uh, by Rumi. So the first actual sentence is, I'm not a sentimental keeper of things. If you go based off the introduction, if you go based off the first chapter, which I don't know, what is the rule here? Um, I don't know when the heck the first chapter starts. We're still on introductions. Hold please. Alice of the Heart. Places we go when things are uncertain or too much. And the sentence is, the restaurant is packed. <laughs> okay, so based on that, I have it narrowed down to A River Enchanted, uh, If on a Winter's Night, A Traveler, and Gleanings. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one and start reading these soon, all three of these, and then I'll get back with you guys and let you know how that's going. Thanks so much for joining me on Love Your Shelf. Have a great day.